This is my new breadboard power supply project. I wanted to make something better than the cheap power supplies that can do only 5 or 3.3 volts. So I designed my own that can go up to 20 volts. Unfortunately, it is a bit buggy, but first let me show you the cool stuff. My module uses USB power delivery. That's what allows it to request 5, 9, 12, 15 or 20 volts from a compatible source. It works with phone chargers and power banks that support USB power delivery. It can also get 9 or 12 volts from some older adapters with Qualcomm quick charge support. And if you're wondering how I made this beautiful circuit board, you should check out JLCPCB. The company has been making quality circuit boards for over 19 years and you can make yours for as low as $2. After I designed my project in Easy EDA, I simply uploaded my production files to JLCPCB.com. And a week later, I got the finished modules in the mail. I soldered the pin headers by hand and the power supply was good to go. Thanks to USB power delivery, my module can deliver plenty of power. I got over 70 watts when I tested it and it can do up to 100 in theory. With an equally powerful adapter, of course. In any case, there is more than enough power for any breadboard project. And no, the PCB does not get hot, even at high power. Now, here is something I did not expect. I can pick a voltage setting using this selector switch. It has 5 positions for the 5 different voltage settings. However, the new voltage is applied only after I turn the power off and back on again. I assumed the chip would make the switch instantly, but I was wrong. I also found out that my power button doesn't work with certain USB cables. That is surely because it cuts off power to the chip, when it could have been on the voltage bus instead. But all the bugs aside, perhaps this design has potential. Let me know if I should work on improving it. The full project video is on my YouTube channel and follow for more videos.